Britons need to be less squeamish about drinking water from sewage, says agency head. Environment Agency chief called for new attitudes to conserve water and avoid droughts. Yeah, and there's Gates and a lot of others that start to push this too. You can't deny the resemblance, but most of them act the same way. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Scientists warn that within six months, humanity will run out of things to call racist. Communism according to college students. Communism according to history. If you belong in this bathroom, and you follow my daughter or wife into this bathroom, you're gonna need this bathroom. A group photo of everyone Bernie Sanders has lifted up out of poverty. Build back better toilet paper. Irish police launch hate speech investigation into Conor McGregor after he condemned stabbing of school children. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. Here's a driver reading the letter of why their driver's license was being revoked while doing 40 miles an hour down the road. I still can't believe that some people's survival instincts told them to go and grab toilet paper. I made posts at that time and tried to tell people that if you ain't got food to eat, you ain't gonna have to be worrying about wiping your man in 1944 facing almost certain unaliving. Man in 2020 facing a 99.9% .9 survival rate. Don't mind the background, they're just loading a kid into a cannon. More stupidity from the people at Yellowstone. Raging elk flattens phone wielding hiker at Yellowstone National Park. Cow elk are extremely protective of their young, as one unfortunate woman discovered while visiting Yellowstone National Park earlier this year. A video currently circulating on social media shows the woman approaching a cow, phone in hand, to take some close-up pictures. What have I said before? Now scientists say breathing is bad for the environment. Gases we exhale contribute to 0.1% of the UK's greenhouse gas emissions. Teen who identifies as a cat allowed by a school to act feline, not speak. Yeah, children brainwashing and indoctrination centers. Yellowstone bison punches a hole right through to his car. How the heck do you get into college with a caption like that? Because they're the perfect candidate. There should be a camera in every classroom and any parent should be able to access the footage whenever they want to find out exactly what teachers are doing and saying to their kids. Absolutely 100%. When you realize some people prefer the lie. Um, just some people? I think it goes for a whole lot of people, depending on the topic. A homeless mom sentenced to five years in prison for using friend's address to enroll son in school. There's people that's unalive someone and gotten far less. Public school. Math equals racism. Homeschool. Dad, this is way too easy. That's just facts. All lives splatter. Nobody cares about your protest. Keep your <coughs> out of the road. Loud fart gives away suspect's hiding spot. Leads to arrest. Look, son. Riders, arsonists, and looters are here to teach us about peace and equality. Man who faked being a lawyer, but still won all 26 cases, has been arrested. Instead of arresting them, they should have had him pass the bar exam and made him an official attorney. How many lawyers out there have a 100% case win rate? If you don't stop lying, you'll grow up to be a reporter for CNN. Or any of the other mainstream news. The purchasing power of the US dollar. $1 in 1913 had the same buying power as $26 in 2020. Someone paid taxes for this. Government at work.
That's certainly not the worst thing they've used taxes for. Never forget the stupidity. Me, trying to find something positive on social media. Parents, you should be saving your money for the future. The future. 2023 was not your year. Maybe 2024 will be. But probably not. I just wanted to let everyone who made fun of my major know that my degree did in fact lead to unemployment. Forcing maths on the population is straight out of China's playbook. Sunak's plans to extend numerous lessons are more likely to humiliate and discourage school children than prepare them for adult life. Yep, these days reading, writing, and arithmetic, as well as receiving actual grades, are racist and unethical. Inflation was 0% last month, and our economy grew by more than 5% last quarter. Bidenomics. Readers added context. Tweet is referring to the PCE index, percent of change from the preceding month. Inflation is normally assessed annually, however, and the Fed PCE goal is 2%, but it is currently 3%. A more commonly referenced inflation index is CPI, which shows annual inflation is 3.2%. Something else that people can't seem to understand is that as long as inflation is above 0% means that prices are going to continue to increase. The only way that prices go down is if the inflation numbers went to negative percentage points. CBS. November 19th, 2023. Why so glum? Americans stay bum despite economy rebound. CBS, November 29th, 2023. Americans need an extra $11,400 today just to afford the basics. Yep, this is absolutely true. People's credit card bill just keeps increasing because you can't make it from one month to the next. U.S. 10th graders score lowest ever on international math test. The whole world is struggling. No, the U.S. schools have failed. A long time ago, for that matter. Boston mayor under fire for secret no whites Christmas party. Boy, 10, calls on Apple to redesign offensive nerd emoji. Target caught offering same prices for its Black Friday deals. It's the same. I don't get it. What's not to get? In past years, people just grab it and not think twice. And there was a lot of different stores that done this exact same thing. Who has tested or used in those filters? Any tips or recommendations? Anytime I hear the mainstream media talk about experts, this is how I imagine them looking. Yeah, most of the time, that's exactly what they are. Puppets, or Muppets, depending on where the hand goes. Doctor, I'm depressed because of the weather in 30 years. Have you tried destroying priceless artwork? New studies suggest people who are obsessed with celebrities may be less intelligent. And you know this study was funded with tax dollars. I wish we could choose our baby's father. Someone come tell her before I do, cause I'm gonna hurt her feelings. If people would stop whoring around, they wouldn't have these problems. Here, looks like you need this. California approves toilet to tap scheme to pump treated sewage back into people's homes. Yeah, don't you guys know? You gotta drink sewage water to stop climate change. AI object. Judges will be able to use ChatGPT and legal rulings in England and Wales, despite the technology being prone to making up bogus cases. And you thought the court system was corrupt before. Boy called police to say there was a in the school so he could go home early. Well, this is Generation Alpha for you. Vegan who drinks his urine daily swears is the secret to eternal youth. The stupidity of this generation is immeasurable, and it just keeps getting worse by the day. Seattle student failed quiz for saying men can't get pregnant.
I'd say most of you already heard about this. What, uh, what else can you really add to something like this? It's just another example of the absolute absurdities and how brainwashed the society is in these times that we're living in right now. From Jim Cramer, Happy New Year, everyone. 2024 will be the best year ever. Extremely bullish on 2024. World War III confirmed. If any of you don't know who Jim Cramer is, he's a financial analyst or whatever for NBC. What he's most well known for is that any predictions that he makes concerning the markets, stocks, the banks, whatever he predicts, always ends up being 180 degrees wrong. I mean, he's the only person I can think of that's on the news that can be wrong more than the weatherman, and he still has a job. You know, as the saying goes, a broken clock is right twice a day. In my opinion, there's no way that this guy can be as wrong as often as he is, and it be an accident. That's just my opinion, though. Walmart threw burrito bowl at Chipotle worker is sentenced to work at fast food restaurant. What, uh, what does that do for the morale of the people that work in these places? I mean, it's basically literally saying that their job is the sentence for a criminal. I mean, that's pretty bad. Defense contractors right now. Actually, what this should say is weapons contractors right now. And they have money in both hands because they're selling to both sides. I saw this article recently about the McDonald's app, and it's what this guy found in the terms and conditions. They basically admitted they're doing something bad. McDonald's customer discovers new terms and conditions. Waive your right to a trial. Just delete the app. I'm not accepting that. A McDonald's customer is going viral on TikTok after exposing a shocking clause in the new terms and conditions of the McDonald's mobile app that reportedly requires users to waive their right to a trial in court, including their right to a jury trial, if they want to continue using the app. I don't know what they could have in their app. Maybe it has something to do with what they're accessing on your phone? Or some of your other data? GPS or whatever? I don't know. But for whatever reason, they want you to waive your right to a trial. Regardless of their reason, people should be getting rid of this app off their phone immediately. Just another day in Florida. Florida man fakes death for 20 years to learn he was never wanted by the cops. And I think he got arrested now for forging a death certificate and falsifying identification. Could carbon passports that limit how much you travel be in our future? Of course they are. I mean, that's what they've been telling the people for how long now? All their 15-minute cities and how great they make it sound? Not to mention that 2020 and 2021 was just a taste of what they got coming. Roxanne Green just burned down Wyoming's first abortion clinic just weeks before it was due to open. Her eyes say, do what you must. I have already won. Don't worry. It was weeks before it was due to open. It was just a clump of building materials. This was from early last year, but I just had to throw this in here. Police beg locals to refrain from taking pot shots at Chinese spy balloon. You know, that must have been one of the balloons that went over the south down here somewhere. And that's a good thing, because they were doing a lot more than the government was. Which, of course, the government's non-response was by design. Vegan scientists mixing 27 carcinogenic chemicals in an attempt to make a soybean taste like a hamburger. What is it about these people that has to tell every single person that they run into that they're a vegan and thinks that that gives them some kind of badge of honor and superiority that they then want companies to take all sorts of food-like substances, chemicals and who knows what else, to make fake meat which they claim to hate. I mean, does that make sense to anyone? Alcoholic dog who got addicted to drinks left out by owner, now sober. You might be drinking too much if even your dog is an alcoholic. Here's your sign. One in five young Americans have a positive view of Osama bin Laden. 
Disturbing Daily Mail poll results also reveal 3 in 10 Gen Zers think the views of 9-11 Mastermind were a force for good. A picture of birdshot to the back. Just a reminder to all the people who feel like stealing someone's stuff. Texas Bill would train third graders to use battlefield tourniquets. You know, a lot of people would be completely against this, saying that this could be traumatizing or bad for their mental health or whatever. But this kind of things is exactly what they should be teaching in school, because they could absolutely save somebody's life. And sadly, understanding things like this is going to become very necessary skills in the near future. Women are happier without marriage and children, says new study. How they've sold this to the younger generations is really sad. Teacher jailed indefinitely for refusing to call a boy a girl. Enoch Berkey, who wouldn't use trans pupils' pronouns, won't be released until he stays away from his old school. And the country is behind him. Rhode Island City Councilman found asleep behind the wheel with a still in his hand. Gen Z suffers from menu anxiety when dining out, with many too scared to order their own meals. Well, you know what I was just saying about the food supply. Between that and the uh, pharmaceuticals and society in general, things are getting really bad. Navy doomsday plane built to withstand nuclear attack grounded after striking a single bird. It's clown world. What else can you say? This is what it would look like if government was actually transparent. Yeah, to some degree, but you still got to go up a few more levels to find the puppeteers that owns all these companies. Clearlink CEO celebrates workers selling family dog to come back to the office. Humans may be fueling global warming by breathing. New study. Are there at least a few people now that's starting to get that we are the carbon that they are getting rid of? Even though they've point blank stated that time and time again through the years? Military recruitment ads in 2021 versus 2023. Yeah, we're going to war. Yeah, have you guys saw all the new military ads? That they're almost all white guys now in the advertisements? I just saw an article today that the number of white men signing up to the military is down by 50%. Scientists explain why doing your own research leads to believing conspiracy theories. Yeah, because they can't have people looking at facts and data while also being able to have critical thinking ability. You're just supposed to believe whatever they tell you to believe, regardless if it has any roots in facts or not. Couple horrified to discover they've been drinking toilet water for six months. Hey, they're right on the cutting edge with California. Speaking of California, we have a different news article. California may approve proposal to turn state's toilet water into tap water by next week. Mark Zuckerberg building $100 million Hawaiian compound with massive underground bunker. I thought sea levels were rising though. So why does all the rich keep building their mansions on different islands and coastlines? I wonder if this was anywhere near Lahana. Leftists being asked to show their card to buy food. Leftists being asked to show their ID card to vote. Eh, it doesn't matter. Voting's just another illusion anyway. How could this happen? I always voted, recycled, and signed petitions. Well, they lead the people around by the nose and get the people to demand their own destruction. Here's another article from The People of Yellowstone. Yellowstone bison gores woman as she walks away. More people thinking they can take a selfie with a 2,000 pound plus wild animal. White male recruits must get final sign off for me, says Avia Boss. Diversity efforts aimed at stamping out sexism in the financial services industry. The hypocrisy of people today is just unparalleled. When you insult Elon Musk on Twitter, and now the doors to your Tesla won't open. 
Or when your social credit score gets too low and your car drives itself back to the dealership. UN Climate Summit serving gourmet burgers at barbecue as it calls for Americans to stop eating meat. Rules for thee, but not for me. All their rules and laws only apply to the peasants and slaves. Don't apply to them. Wanting to hire fewer white men for a job is not discrimination. An employment tribunal dismissed an unsuccessful job seeker's claim that he was rejected because he was a white man. Only in today's clown world society. California retailers that refuse to have gender neutral toys for children will be fined up to $500 under new ultra woke Gavin Newsom law after uproar over LGBT toys sold during Pride Week. Some members of Congress are trying to use false promises of border security to squeeze taxpayers for $60 billion more to send to Ukraine. If there is no change to Biden's policy, then he will just use the money for more of the same. The House needs to demand policy changes. You can believe that you can change the actors that's on the stage, but the agenda always remains the same. A highway system in Tokyo. Yeah, this is the new roundabouts. That one is publishing from unapproved experts. Leftist. Racism is the worst thing on earth. Also leftist. The best stimulus package would be a 0% income tax. How many people know that the federal income tax started out as 1%? Supposed to have been to fund the war. And it was only supposed to be temporary. That's how they sell everything. The bugs for thee, but not for me. Yep, that's only for the slaves. Everybody making jokes. But we lucky the Swiss never entered the world wars. Not yet, anyway. Actually, I just saw a news article today where Sweden's Ministry of Civil Defense is saying that all Swedes should prepare for war. Man arrested for faking heart attack 20 times at restaurants to avoid a paying the bill. Migrants reject sandwiches, pancakes, donuts, and chicken dishes at New York City shelters. Nothing healthy. Yeah, and I've seen other news articles where they were demanding better houses and better cars and more money on their monthly debit cards. But I'd say most of you guys on this channel know this is all by design. This has been going on for 20 years now. Parents anger as primary school plans to introduce transgender education for children as young as four. <coughs> known as Q Anon Shaman running for Congress. Well, he was escorted up to the podium by so-called security so that he could get a photo shoot with all the news media. Driver tries to use get out of jail free card during traffic stop in Chicago County. If I was a cop and it was just something minor, I'd take his card and let him go. And if it wasn't something minor, that's when you pull out your Uno reverse card. Well guys, we come back to where this video first started. Thieves attempt to siphon gas from a bus, but accidentally suck out sewage. Talk about leaving a bad taste in your mouth. That brings a whole new meaning to the word potty mouth. You voted for student loan forgiveness, but you got $7 eggs in World War III. Look what $1 will buy. That's just a plain and simple truth there. You can't even pay the sales tax for a dollar. 2500 BC. Genesis 47. Slaves owned by Pharaoh were required to pay him 20% of their income. 2024. The median U.S. taxpayer pays 24.8% income tax along with 7.65% FICA taxes. On his taxed income, he then pays sales tax, property tax, gas tax, and many other taxes and fees. Yes. Most of the slaves in Egypt were far better off than we are today. And yet most people still believe that we're free. The dangerous rise of men who won't date woke women. Danger's my middle name. Please help, I'm struggling to afford groceries. You obviously fail to understand what a good investment 
100 billion dollars for Ukraine, Israel, and the other 150 countries that the U.S. government sends your money to. Missouri officials refuse to work with the ATF, saying all federal so-called lead dispenser laws are unconstitutional. I don't trust any government, state, local, whatever, but I will say that the state government here in Missouri has seemingly been doing things to actually help the Missouri state citizens here. Son, one day you will be a man. Dad, I'm 30. Yes, but you still trust the government. Hiker lost for 24 hours, ignored calls from rescuers because of an unknown number. Well, I can't completely blame him. It's usually just telemarketers. If I don't know a number, I don't answer it. If it's important enough, then they'll leave me a voicemail. Man struggling to feed his family, just happy he can fund two wars with his taxes. Well, if you understand what the U.S. has done to Yemen, it's actually three wars, and it's probably going to be a whole lot more. Participation medals really did ruin society. Well, those aren't participation medals, though. That was just their social credit scores. Aliens versus Predator. Just a reminder that obesity unalives way more people than lead dispenser violence. But there's still no march to end it, which ironically would very literally help end it. And that is very true. Most of us probably need to work on that, myself included. How white leftists see themselves after complaining about white people online. When your car is a piece of junk, but you don't have any payments. Yeah, I got an 86 pickup, and as long as I can keep it running, that's what I'll keep driving. When you have to defend yourself, but you live in New York City. Literally. I mean, this is, this is literally true. In nature, poisonous creatures will often develop bright colors to warn others of their toxicity. Them. You need to try this eco-friendly bug steak. Me. A special thank you to, yep, exactly, these and a lot of other jobs. The thing is, they're creating a society in these younger generations to all hate men, but yet they don't want to do all the jobs and other things that men do, but they still want all the things that men provide. When you lied on your resume, but got the job you're not qualified for. And the worst part is, this is three different women cops. How are they even allowed to sit behind a desk, let alone being out on the streets? People who watch Fox because CNN is propaganda. People who watch CNN because Fox is propaganda. People who don't watch the news because it's all propaganda. Levels of white anger ranked. Son of a... All right, bucko. Hey, you just hold your horses. Well, now wait just a minute. Newsflash, pal. Who knows what the last one is? Canadian government is forced to deny bizarre rumor that Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's real father. They can deny it all they want, but... You go look at some of the other photos. Study... Humans contributing to global warming by breathing. Most people laugh about things like this when they hear it. The problem is, they are point blank serious. If people would really understand what they're saying. The U.S. government. The general population isn't responsible enough to freely own these. Also the U.S. government. The U.S. military is still missing six nuclear weapons that were lost decades ago. And that's just the ones that they admit, let alone the multitudes of all the other things. My brain can't decide between these two. The world is ending. The world is ending. I vote for the second one. I refuse to be lectured to about lead dispensers by a government that loses F-35 fighter jets. This is the approved food pyramid for the slaves. If time continues on long enough, they'd make sure you wouldn't have anything else. How to prevent the next, and a whole lot more. Yeah, this is just a stupid post. 
but at the same time, I really don't care for either one of them. Not just one stupid person, but two stupid persons. This guy think it's cool to kill defenseless animals and then take a selfie. Jerk. So barbaric that this should still be allowed. No conservation laws in effect wherever this is? This is just another good example of why people like this will follow and do whatever the government and the media tells them to. This rat wants to spread disease and take over your home. The other one is simply eating cheese. That's derogatory to rats everywhere. Biden and the Pentagon can declare war on climate change. Income taxes are the fine one pays for the crime of being useful and productive. You can be as polite as you want. The state will still unalive you if you get in the way. You idiot. You can't threaten me with that. Lead dispensers are banned. They'll spend trillions on bills they haven't read, but want details on how you spend $600. Feminist usually. Feminist when there is a military draft. This is true. I've already seen videos of some of them point blank stating this. There was one video in particular that I saw that she said she'll be back working in the kitchen. What a beautiful day. When are you gonna get... What a beautiful day. When someone asks why we cannot trust what the government is saying. Oh, you're just getting started. We are restricting freedom, but we're doing it for the common good. Wall Street Journal. The U.S. should show it can win a nuclear war. Yes, this is a real article. This system is destroying the younger generations. If you ever feel useless, just remember the U.S. took four presidents, thousands of lives, trillions of dollars, and 20 years to replace the Taliban with the Taliban. Most people today think this is due to incompetence, stupidity, whatever. But the fact is, it's all by scripted design. None of this happened by accident. Also, fun fact. All the billions and billions of dollars of weapons that the U.S. left over there is now being used in the wars in the Middle East and Ukraine. Remember when we cried as kids and our parents said, I'll give you something to cry about, and we thought they were going to hit us? But instead, they destroyed the housing market, raised the taxes, and flooded our countries with illegal immigrants. Okay, first and foremost, your parents didn't do any of that. All the governments have. With that said, there has always been groups that were willing to be the puppets for the higher-ups. However, the worst generation for that is the one right now. As there's more people right now demanding the government take their own rights and destroy the country than there ever has been before. And that goes for all the Western nations which all just happen to be doing the exact same thing all simultaneously. I wonder why that is. Man survives a Kodiak bear attack with just a 22. The friend he shot in the knee was not as lucky. Toxic masculinity. True masculinity. Point of view. It's the last day at school before winter break in the early 2000s. Nostalgia is inherently fascist coded. Stupidity of this generation. What everyone dreams of having. What I dream of having. Yeah, it would be. That's a dog. That's a turkey. And that's the truth. It's not just that I care about my right to own a lead dispenser and protect my family. It's also that I question your motives for trying to stop me from being able to do so. In most places these days, it is literally a crime to defend yourself, your family, and your home. Who wants to stop climate change? Who wants to give up their private jet? Dull a joke, guys. But they're the only ones laughing. Highly trained sharpshooters and secret nighttime missions. Meet the U.S. government's clandestine campaign against local deer. And yeah, this is not a joke. 
just like the rest of the food supply. Forget right and left for a moment. The real battle is between people who want to be left alone and those who refuse to leave other people alone. Always has been, always will be. The legend foretold about this gathering. Target shoppers walking into Walmart for the first time. Have you guys seen this one? She walked into some person's apartment and her jaw about hit the floor because she didn't know us little peons have to live this way. World War III is about to begin. Pick your fighter. Things like this is why the U.S. has become the laughing stock of the world. The two books modern society hates. And that is the point blank truth. Anyone explaining why their favorite politics man is better. Me only hearing clown music in my head. I've tried to tell people for a lot of years that they're all just actors on a stage playing their role. You've stolen my dreams and my childhood. Get in that cobalt for your electric cars as fast as I can, Greta. Don't worry, when it gets too cold, they won't even charge, let alone drive anywhere. The most dangerous religion on earth is worshiping celebrities. Yep, it's true. Oreo built a doomsday vault in Norway to preserve cookies for future generations. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 nom. Get yourself a girl that holds you like Justin Trudeau's mom holds Fidel Castro. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need a... You need two. Or maybe three, or four, or possibly five. You might need more than that with the second U.S. Civil War about to kick off. Chicago-style gingerbread house. If this offends you, but this doesn't, you are mentally and morally sick. Yep, to say the least. I don't know. It's just kind of funny how we always have money for foreign aid, even though we're $34 trillion in debt. Why are you all getting upset at some graphics on a piece of tin? School. Desperate parents. Uvalde police. Desperate parents. I'm not going to comment on this one, because I don't want my video taken down. Venus was once Earth-like, but climate change made it uninhabitable. What a pathetic joke, man. The saddest part is, there's people that'll believe that. Especially coming from that organization. Are we still using tranny fluid? Or is it gender neutral shift juice now? The best part is, this is on a Napa Auto Parts sign somewhere. Meanwhile in Los Angeles, self-checkout is growing in popularity. I just bet it is. There, and a lot of these other big cities, where they've legalized theft, and criminalize people trying to stop theft. Never forget that people actually did this. That and a lot worse. If genitals don't define gender, how does removing them affirm it? Poor humans caught Aaron Judge's 60 second home run ball. He then turned down a $3 million offer and decided to put the ball up for auction. But the auction just ended, and it sold for $1.5 million. Well, after the government theft of about 30%, he'll end up with about $1 million, instead of around $2 million. That's what happens when you get too greedy. My parents in the 80s. Let's move closer to a city so we can raise a family. It'll be easier to find work. Me in 2024. We need to get as far away from civilization as possible and start homesteading before the second U.S. Civil War and World War III all happen at the same time. My dishwasher won't start until I let it update its firmware over the Wi-Fi. I've said it before. I don't need appliances that have to have access to the internet. This is as good as the new electric cars. It was someone that had a Ford electric vehicle, and it wouldn't allow the owner to start the vehicle and drive because some software update didn't complete. 
Has social media brainwashed you into thinking the economy is bad? No, common sense tells me that the economy and the US dollar is being destroyed every time I go to the grocery store. I read that eggs are overly expensive because bird flu is killing a ton of chickens. There's an obvious solution to this. You know, the worst part about this is there would literally be a lot of people today that would believe this and they'd be volunteering to go put masks on chickens. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Martin Luther King. The best I can do is an obscene sculpture. And that's the truth, guys. Have you seen this thing? This is the so-called sculpture that they made and dedicated in the name of Martin Luther King. Really? Things like this is what they call art these days. Woman jailed after stabbing and tying up victim. This is a sick generation. Do you hate body odor? You're more likely to have right wing views. All we can do is laugh while the world burns, guys. It just gets worse and worse every day. The rise in climate related disasters makes it harder to forecast inflation accurately. This means we face more challenges when deciding on monetary policy. Yeah, guys, bad weather causes inflation. Then you know that? It has nothing to do with the trillions and trillions of dollars that the government is spending. It's not red versus blue. It's the state versus you. Biden campaign co-chair afraid Dems will get blamed for the border crisis. Well, they're all to blame. All the people in DC are just actors and puppets for the cameras. Auschwitz temporarily closed. Should I try TikTok? No, the Chinese will spy on you. How many people really believes that their phone and computer and everything else isn't listening to them all the time. All politicians are corrupt. Minnesota town re-elects dog as its mayor. Best politician in the country. Shout out to all the dads that are eating like this so their kids can eat at the table at home. Disney. Yep, enough said. My child got sent to Zoom detention for not paying attention in Zoom fourth grade. Email said, here's the link to access the room to serve detention. I swear I'm trying so hard to take this life seriously. Yeah, schools today are a complete, total joke. It's not a funny joke. It's a very serious joke. Especially with the indoctrination that children are having pushed on them. My parents in their 20s. Let's buy this house and have three children. Me in my 20s. Goodbye. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Goodbye, America. Hello, New York. New York is still in America. Have you never taken a geology class? I think I would know, stupid girl. You know some of these YouTube channels where the guy goes out on the street asking people about what should be basic simple questions about the US or basic math and other things? There is no way I could do that and keep a straight face. I'd be laughing so hard I'd run out of breath. But it's the sad state of affairs in this country. Trillion dollar propaganda machine. People putting funny words on pictures. Male depression. Society. Be a man. Every government the last few years. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. It's really sad how people know 
that the government lies about everything, and yet they still totally trust them on other things. College will open so many doors for you. Wow, look, debt. We have information that will lead to the arrest of... A few moments later. Parental rights really anger me. Non-binary children's book author pushes back against parents. Yeah, I bet parental rights really does anger you. I can't say anymore. All right, I've had to re do retakes on a lot of these slides. I'm trying my best to read these seriously. Dude wearing an ankle monitor and using his birth certificate as a note to the teller robs a bank. You just can't make this stuff up. Janet Yellen. We can certainly afford two wars, U.S. Treasury Secretary says. $34 trillion. Yeah, we can afford two wars. Right now with Yemen, we're already in three wars. And that's not even including Iraq and Iran and others. Politicians taxing you to unaliving, inflating your currency, mandating you buy electric vehicles you can't afford, while enriching themselves and their corporate buddies. Yeah, just stop being poor. Woke books bought for huge advances by inexperienced editors, hired posts have flopped, including $500,000 queer feminist novel that sold 3,500 copies, and Elliot Page's $3 million transgender memoir that sold 68,000 copies. When two bags of groceries cost $173. Mexican man has been in prison for 19 years for an unaliving of a person still alive. I feel really bad for these people when I hear stories like this. Even if they're only in there for one year, let alone many years, time is the most precious thing that we have. And it's something you cannot get back and there is no amount of monetary compensation that could make up for that. The perfect woman doesn't exist. For everyone here, if you already don't know how to use one of these, of any variety, I would highly suggest to find someone to help you learn. You want lower taxes because you hate the poor. No, actually I want lower taxes because the U.S. Air Force still can't explain why it spent $1,280 on a coffee cup. And that's just one of many, many multitudes of examples. Led to Spencer Safety being taught in an Arizona school, 1956. Things like this is what they should be teaching. I have learned that white racists can't tell one Asian person from another. To them, every Asian is Chinese. When you say white, do you mean Slavic, Germanic, Caucasian, Latin, Turkic, Celtic, Scandinavian, or can't you tell? Who do you trust more? I don't even have to think about it. Dr. Cat, 100%. Unbelievable sightings in Gaza today, following an IDF bombing run. Oh, never mind. This is from Minneapolis in 2020. You know what I said earlier about basic math? This post is from 2018 but it's only got worse since then. A kid born in 2010 is now 18 years old. Let that sink in. I never thought I would need to explain a basic math, but since we hear kid born in 2010, now is 2018. So you add the 10 to the eight equals 18. Simple math. 
So the kid is 18 years old in 2018. Simple. She doing that R. Kelly math. Open up. You haven't paid us for your freedom this month. Yeah, freedom. What does the government do once it has disarmed its own citizens? Anything it wants. Can't you see that I'm upset? You should let me loot your store. No. Four signs you are bad with money. You can't balance a budget. You have to take money from other people to pay your bills. You lend money before paying your own bills. Your debt is over $34 trillion. Do they really think we believe these two things? Snuck past the world's most well-funded militaries? Outsmarting the best intelligence agencies? Sadly, a lot of the people did and still do believe it. I'm not even reading this. This nation's going to hell. In order to think, you have to risk being offensive. Jordan Peterson. It's sad that we live in a time where saying something quote unquote offensive will soon be criminalized. Next time you think of eating a chicken, remember that they had a family just like you. That's why you order the family meal. The best part of this is that it was actually someone replying to PETA. So I'm pumping gas and all I hear is, then another man says, yeah man, I said the same thing. And I'm acting like I don't hear neither one. Gas is $4 a gallon. And you think they were talking about you. The government. We will know if you don't report Vimo transactions over $600. Also the government. We failed our fifth Pentagon audit. We don't know where that two point trillion went. There's probably a few of you out there that remember there was a similar case somewhere around the end of October and the 1st of September of a specific year, nearly 23 years ago. How to retire in your 30s. 1. Borrow $10 billion of customer deposits from your startup crypto exchange. These just get worse and worse. A parent's guide to supporting youth. Listen to your kids. They know what feels right and true to them. Think twice before you cut off your dog's balls. I'm not even going to try to add anything to that. This is what a lot of people actually believe. FBI documents associate internet slang like based and red pill with extremism. It was things like this that I posted years ago. One of them was a list from the FBI of things that could indicate quote unquote potential terrorists. I can remember some of this list. Things like being an evangelical Christian, believing the end of the world, believing in an apocalypse, buying a coffee with cash, saying that we are in the end times, believing in the Bible, saying that there is a elite cabal that rules the world. If you are pro-life, if you have conservative views, and a whole lot more, it was a really long list, but they said all of those things indicated of potential domestic terrorists. In any case, you fast forward to today and we have members of Congress calling to divide the country and it appears that we're quickly heading towards the second U.S. Civil War. So what's your guys' thoughts on all this? Drop it all down in the comments. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.